Okay, boys and girls, today is Monday, October 1st, and we are hitting back and biceps on the first day of the winter arc. So you see I'm in the sweatshirt, the sweatpants, well, cargo pants, kind of. But uh, I'm going to be hitting the back and by day today. Uh, I'm working on kind of getting a little bit leaner than I am right now. Not necessarily a cut, just kind of leaning out, so more like main gain. Um, so my first set here, I'm just warming up on my lats, uh, getting the lats kind of activated here. As you can see, I start off kind of in a flat position, extended, and then I come up, bring my chest up, and bring that all the way down right to my uh, legs there. So that's what I'm doing here. Now that I got myself a little warmed up, we're gonna go into a light set. Just getting the blood flowing on lap pull down. Nice, easy, I think I put 143 on here. Uh, kind of weird numbers because it goes from kilogram conversion, but you can see I'm just going out quick, banging the reps, getting the blood flowing, bringing it all the way to my chest. Now for my rail set, I'm pretty sure this is 168 here. Uh, I weigh 180, so usually I do a little bit more than this, but you know, it was the first set of the day. I'm just trying to ease my way into the workout. But I keep my grip wide. I extend all the way at the top, trying to slow down on the way up. And I pinch for like a half second at the bottom, just get what I can. All right, then this was 204. So I needed help getting it down because uh, I only weigh 180. And uh, yeah, my grip was a little close here, so usually I get about seven reps with 204 and do a couple partials at the end, but I felt very strong, so I think it was because of my grip, my grip being closer than usual. But uh, yeah, I did nine reps here, pretty clean reps. Didn't do any partials at the end. Lat pull downs is gonna get the very top of your lat, you know, the top of the back, like a little bit of rear delt, that type of stuff. Now these rows are going to get more of the middle back, a little lower, but should be focused mostly on your middle back. Once again, this is a different muscle group, slightly, so I do a little warm-up set. Now I get my belt on, and we're cranking away at the heavier set. I go close grip here to really focus on the middle of my back. I arch forwards, get a deep stretch, and then pull and don't go more than about 90 degrees. And I make sure my elbows go right to my side so I get full range of motion pulling my way back. Make sure your knees, too, are bent slightly but extended far so that you can get as much range of motion out of the exercise as possible. Next, we're doing more lower back with the T-bar row. So just kind of banging it out here. Uh, I started off a little lighter than I should have, so that's why it looks pretty easy. But then I head off into a slightly heavier set, and I uh, do that as my working weight. This should kind of focus more on the bottom of your back, kind of tapering down the um, Christmas tree. All the other things add width and uh, thickness to your back. So I like this exercise because my handles are adjustable on this, and uh, yeah, you can get a very nice deep stretch here on this machine specifically. Once again, I had Adam help me out with the workout. We hit uh, back and by together. We're actually in a competition. Um, so a little friendly competition, but we're competing to see who can get 315 first. We are both at 305. We started the competition about two months ago. As you can see here, I have yapped my way all the way into biceps, but this is uh, one plate and a 25 here, I believe. So I work on bringing it down a little bit slower and pinching at the top. This is a little bit of a lighter set for me. I do go lighter on the preacher curls because I start off with preacher curls to kind of warm my biceps up. And um, I feel a little tingly, like twitch type of feel in my bicep a little bit doing this. So just to make sure I don't tear my bicep, I keep it lighter. Um, I, I, so I obviously can't go as high intensity. So I add a rep or two just to kind of hopefully get the same amount out of the exercise. My peaks are my uh, weak point in my bicep. I feel like my fullness is not too bad, but my peak is not great. So I do a lot of peak type um, workouts for my bicep. So a lot of behind the body stuff and a lot of uh, contracting like this. 
Look at Adam helping me out once again. So this is uh, something that Adam was showing me. It helps with the peak. I did hammer curls, but forgot to record them. Damn, Adam, look at your vein there. Down like 15 pounds and your arm looks good. Oh uh, yeah, the hammer curls help with my forearm a little bit and the uh, width of my bicep. But, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Learned a few things uh, about tips, form, etc. I do have a leg day video coming out this week. So make sure you stay uh, tuned in and put on post notifications after subscribing so you can watch that. Thanks guys, peace.